Hello again, and welcome to Retro PC Refurbs. Today we have another DIY emulator build. I have lost a lot of footage, so here is stock footage of the two things I have used to build this. Firstly, this is an old Sky Q box that I picked up at a car boot sale for £2 or a couple of dollars. This has a 1TB hard disk drive in it so it is worth picking up if you come across one of these. I didn't use the hard drive in it as didn't need so much space so I have, I have a 250GB in. The laptop was given to me as well as it had a swollen battery and the screen was also broken. It has an i3 second gen with a HD3000 Intel graphics with 4GB of DDR3 RAM. It's running a cut down Windows 10 so it's a little bit more snappy. It will run up to a PlayStation 1 with good frame rates and struggles a bit with the GameCube but can run some GameCube games. Okay, so I've just soldered a button on. So I'll turn the TV on. And then we'll see whether this button works. Yep, there we go, all working. No hard drive in yet, so that's going to go here.
So all finished now. We have speakers in either side. And then we have some more USBs on this side now with earphone jack there. Hard drives in and stuck down. This is running Retrobat. This is a Windows version of what I used before, which was RetroPie. 